If you know Pilates, you probably have a love-hate relationship with the jackknife. It's day 18 of March Madness. My name is Sammy. Welcome to my channel. I'm a classical Pilates teacher. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you're notified of all new workouts and tutorials and all, thing Pil all things Pilates. Every single day in March, I will be posting a tutorial on every single exercise in Joe's original order so that you, as your own teacher at home, can really understand the exercises to get the most benefits out of your home practice. This book is your map manual. Everybody should have a copy. This is Joe's verbiage. And he has pictures in here of the setup and the action, as well as exactly what you should be doing. Some of it can be confusing, which is why I'm making these videos just for you. So follow along with your own copy because that would be the best. This is in the description box below. If you're gonna buy this book, please buy from that description. It really does help out my channel. And let's get started. So today is day 19. I might have said 18 in the beginning, if I said it at all. Today is day 19 of March Madness. And that brings us to the jackknife. And the jackknife is considered an advanced exercise. But I will tell you at the end, so stay tuned, exactly how you can work towards this at home. Here we go. He's got his pictures here. And that shows all the things that you should be doing, all the poses you're trying to hit. And let's read. So pose one, take position illustrated, rest entire spine on mat or floor. So he's just lying on the mat, just like he did for his hundred and all the other, you know, this one leg stretch and whatnot if you've seen the other videos. If not, no worries, because I'm gonna go over it again. But you should watch those. Okay, and then pose two, stretch arms sidewise. Mm -hmm, that's what you said, sidewise. Both legs close together, raised upward to right angle position, which he actually doesn't show a picture of. Knees locked, toes pointed forward and downward, inhale slowly. So you're inhaling as you start to lift your legs up to a right angle position. And what he means by sidewise is his arms just, they're not so close to his sides anymore. They open a little bit making space so you can spread your shoulder blades wide. You want to think of spreading your shoulder blades into your armpits. I know if you can, if you can figure out what I just said and make it happen, you have great body awareness. If not, we'll get there. Don't worry. And then pose three, press arms firmly downward against mat or floor with knees locked, roll body over until spine is raised off mat or floor about five inches. So a lot of times people roll all the way over to their neck. He still has, equal weight between arms, shoulders, and head, but he's actually down to closer to his like middle bottom rib. We'll, we'll go over this, I promise. And then pose four, kick legs in snappy jackknife fashion straight upward until entire body rests on head, neck, shoulders, and arms. That is important because a lot of times people lose the arms and they're just trying to get up by being so high on their neck. And the cool thing about all these exercises where your arms have to have equal pressure is your triceps get a killer workout. So you wanna strive for that. Okay. Exhale slowly. So you're inhaling to go up and then you're exhaling to snap kick the legs up to the ceiling in a jackknife fashion. And then return to pose three position. So he's back down, still his butt's off the, off the mat, but he's back down to his rib area. And inhale slowly and then return to pose two position. Exhale slowly. And in his pose two, he had just has two pictures basically for pose three, but in pose two, what he said was your legs are at a right angle. So he comes down and he stops with his legs at a right angle. Also, what he doesn't say, but what is in the pictures, is when he snap kicks his legs up, he flips his hands over so the palms are facing up. Now, I wouldn't try it that way first. I would try it just the hands down, or if you need a modification, you'll try it a different way. But once you flip the hands, now you have less help to stay up. So you still wanna balance between your arms, shoulders, and head, what did he say? Neck, shoulders, arms, and head. But now you don't have your palms to help you, so it just adds a harder element. 
Repeat the foregoing exercise three times. Again, you know, he has a very magic number throughout a lot of these exercises, and it's three. So this is because you need, should be able to get through the entire mat order in like 20 minutes. And if you memorize the order, you will, it will become meditative. I think I said this in yesterday's video, but I'm um, sorry, I had a hair on me. You don't have to think about what's coming next. You can really focus on what your body is doing. And that allows you to do the exercises better every single time and get the most benefits out of it. And then you can do it anywhere. I do it at this. I say this all the time. I do it at my son's soccer practices on the grass. I'm sure I look crazy, but I, and nobody says anything about it. And I just go through the entire mat order, especially if I did move that day. So, you know, you can do it anywhere. Just, you got to know the order or take this book with you everywhere you go. <laughs> I guess you have YouTube on your phone, bring some, uh, uh, what are they? Wireless headphones and I can be in your ear all the time. Okay. Moving on. Cautions. Pose two, keep legs in right angle position, knees locked, toes pointed. Pose three, hold pose three position for a mental count of two. So when you go over to that rib area on your, you're slowly on that inhale still, you hold for two, one, then pose four, hold pose four for mental count of two. You snap, kick it up, two, one, and then you just kind of come back down. So then you're going to come back, hit that spot and continue going down. Okay, let's get the breath cues. So you're inhaling to lift the legs to 90 and go over. Then you snap kick the legs up and you, that's your exhale. And then you're gonna inhale slowly as you return to pose three and exhale slowly as you return to pose two. So you have two breaths in there. It goes inhale, two, one. Exhale, two, one. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna show it to you, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to try and go, you know, as slow as I can at first to explain it all. So he starts here. Everything's nice and strong and zipped up. And then he's going to inhale slowly and bring his legs up to 90. And then his arms come out a little bit. So you can make sure your back is nice and wide. And then you're going to, you're still on that kind of inhale and you go up. This is your pose three. So he's working really hard to stay here. This is not easy. And then he's gonna snap kick up on his exhale, lift. And now he, you gotta find where you're balancing on your head, neck, shoulders, and hands. Then you're gonna inhale and come back to pose three. And then exhale and come back to pose two where you're at 90. Now there's also, I mean, I learned it, it's not in these descriptions to go down a little bit lower and start again, but he doesn't say return to pose one or go past 90. So, you know, you can play with it if you want. Now let's do it with the breath. So from here, you inhale, ex, hold on, I'm gonna do the counts. Actually, I'm gonna do the breath now and then I'll do it with the, the mental counts. So you're gonna inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now I'm gonna also show you with that flip on the, on the counts. All right, so you're gonna inhale and you're gonna go over for two count er, and hold for two counts. Two, one, exhale, two, one. Inhale, exhale. And I'm gonna show you again. Inhale, two, one, exhale, two, one. Don't do that. I hold longer. You're supposed to only hold for two. Inhale, exhale. I got distracted when I hit that. Let's go one more time. It's hard work, guys. All right. Inhale, two, one. Exhale, two, one. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Now, modifications. One, yeah, I mean, you can't really do this exercise unless you get overhead. So, a great way to start working on getting overhead if it's safe for you is to hold on to the back of your couch or a chair or someone's ankles or whatever you can. Okay, so I'm gonna try and show you here, but if you hold on to something, now you have help to get over. Okay, so you're, I know I have all my props here in the way. So you, you want it to be sturdy. You could also hold on to someone's legs if you have someone around. 
but you're gonna pull yourself up and then slowly work on the way down. This is the same for the rollover. So you just wanna carefully get yourself up, you know, swing your legs up there as long as you know that you're safe, but where the, the work comes in for you to gain the strength is to really resist on the way back down, okay? Inhale, exhale, hold maybe, inhale. And then you can try a jackknife here too, where you go, inhale, two, one, exhale, two, one, inhale, exhale. So you can give that a try. I highly suggest it. I'd love to see your videos if you get an overhead. My clients send me videos of them holding onto their couch or ottoman, and I just love it. And I really, really hope that you enjoy the jackknife, that you are one day able to do it, if not today, as long as you keep working and you keep practicing Pilates, you will. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and check the links in the description so that you can get the book and everything from there. Uh, okay, thanks, guys. I'll see you next time for March Madness Day 20. Bye. Thank you.